Welcome everyone. As you all know that this kind of a question, I have already told that this can be done orally. Trust me, even within one second, you can actually do this. But those of you who could not do it, I'm just going to do the explanation. We have 3 raised to x plus 3 raised to x plus 3 raised to x, which is equals to 1. So in this case, what we'll do is, there are how many 3 raised to x? Let's say 3 times, okay? So 3 times 3 raised to x equals to 1. Now, in order to find the value of x, we will try dividing everything by 3. So this is cancelling. I'm now left with what? 3 raised to x. And this 1 upon 3, see 1 upon a can also be written as a raised to minus 1. And 1 upon a raised to n can be written as a raised to minus n. This is something which a lot of people don't realize or they forget. So this becomes 3 raised to minus 1. Now if you look closely, the bases are same. Therefore, I can directly say that the value of x is coming out to be what? Minus 1. Let's plug in this value. So 3 raised to minus 1 plus 3 raised to minus 1. Plus 3 raised to minus 1. So 3 raised to minus 1 again can be written as what? 1 upon 3. 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Now you see the denominator are same. I can directly add the numerator. 1 plus 1 plus 1 gets you 3 plus upon 3. Answer is coming out to be 1. Which was your RHS. So I hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.